Later model vehicles are now turning towards smarter alternators for reduced emissions and improved battery life. But does this make diagnosis different? G'day, I'm Zach. Welcome to Automate. Yes, it does. Nowadays, it's not uncommon for some vehicles to be charging up around 16 volts compared to an older system where they were around 14 volts. Misdiagnosis is common when testing the output of a smart charging system, condemning the alternator because the output is simply over 15 volts. Diagnosing an older vehicle with a battery light on only required simple testing procedures. Compared to now, where we have trouble codes relating to battery current, voltage and L or F terminal. A quality scan tool and scope is needed to assist in diagnosis. Confirm there are no battery or battery current sensor related DTCs present. If found, diagnose these first. When testing the alternator, we can check the integrity of the control module by watching the generator field current control duty signal. At idle, the data should display a field duty cycle of between 5 and 95%, depending on electrical load. Disconnect the field control connector at the alternator and confirm the field duty control drops to zero. The next test to perform is to bridge the F terminal to battery positive with a fuse jump wire. We should see the scan tool data increase to 100%. To watch the full video or any of our automotive training modules, just visit our website to find out how you can become an Automate member today.